Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Stampin' Munchkins. This is Sin. This is the card we're making today, another Brutus Monroe Inspiration Team project. I hope you like it. Let's go. Here's the products used. Fall Feast Slimline Stamp Set from Brutus Monroe. Basket Weave Stencil. Super, oh sorry, forget what this one is called. Floral Frames. Chroma Mist in Lilac and Cobalt Blue. Embossing Ink in the Small Cube. Gilded Embossing Powder. Aqua Pigment Paper Watercolor. Cardstock, and I'm using these Aqua Pigments. Everything will be listed below for easy shopping. I hope you click on the link so Brutus Monroe knows that you came from me. So I'm using two watercolor cardstock and I really like um, how much water that this takes. And I wanted to use the watercolor because I'll be spraying it um, using my Chroma Mist. I just love how vibrant these are. I'm sure you're tired of me saying that over and over again, but I'm just, um, I don't have pixie spray, so I just put it on, sprayed it on and it leaked underneath but it's okay and there's leftovers so I just put another piece of watercolor cardstock on it and I just um, got the image off and it's perfect so now I'm going to be um, doing some watercoloring so I sprayed the back of the watercolor cardstock so that it will lay flat instead of using tape and I'm, these are the colors that I'm using coral orange yellow orange and I'm going to be doing like um, what we do with alcohol inks and yupo paper but I'm doing um, I have the colors on the screen but I'm just doing this using watercolor cardstock and watercolor and I love these aqua pigments come with droppers so you can um, just grab some and put it on drop it and you can see some spreads a lot quicker than the other ones and I'm just using the same technique I'm using a blower this is my camera uh, blower cleaner and I'm just blowing it around until I get what I like and now I'm going to be adding gold this gilded just a few drops and I'm going to be moving that around and you can always add some more water which I did um, and I'm just gonna let it go and I'm just drying it um, with using my heat gun. I have two settings. I'm using the lower setting. And there it is. It's so pretty. Look at that gold shimmer. Subtle, but I love it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I flattened it out um, as best as I could. And I didn't want to do a slimline card, so I'm going to just... And I didn't want to color all the um, I didn't have time so I didn't want to color the images so I decided to do it this way more of a mixed media effect and I'm putting a uh, powder down so that my embossing won't stick to all the other parts make sure it's completely dry before you do this as the embossing powder will stick on the wet parts and I'm using the clear embossing ink pad and I'm doing it several times because um, it's textured. The watercolor um, cardstock is textured. And it did move a little bit, so I cut kind of a ghost image. But it still is okay because it looks very abstract, and that's what I was going for. So now I'm going to be using Gilded Embossing Powder. And I really love this embossing powder so much. It's a pretty gold color. And I let the embossing powder sit a little while and I gently tap it off because I want to make sure that most of the powder is on, stays on. And I'm going to heat set it using the higher setting and it never gets old. I just love when the embossing powder melts, it goes from dull to shiny. And make sure that every bit of it is, um, totally melted and you can tell by kind of looking in the light if you have a hard time and that's it 
It's beautiful. So I cut it down to size and I'm thinking, which background do I want to use it with? And I decided to go with the messier background because I love all the colors. And if you don't know, orange and blue are, um, I believe it's complementary, so that they're on the opposite sides of the color wheel. So they complement each other, but when you mix them up, they kind of turn to mud. So I love orange and blue together. And now I'm just using a piece of the um, watercolor cardstock that I already, that was just left over and I'm using warm wishes and also using the clear ink pad and again using the gilded and I will heat set that same and I'm going to kind of bubble cut it out so I cut everything out because um, I don't have die cuts for these and I kind of wanted to cut them out um, custom because it's there's no harsh edges to them so I'm just putting it on and I like that the it's um, straight edge on one side and kind of wonky on the left side and I like how the warm wishes just kind of tucks right above kind of matches the the hilly hilliness of the uh, panel under it so I just um, put it up using foam tape for some dimension and I am going to just stick the whole panel down onto a thick cardstock card base white card base and I usually put my misty on it to make sure that it adheres flat so this is the finished card I love again that gilded um, if you don't have time to color an image this is a nice way to get some color onto your background and it looks like an abstract so I love it I hope you enjoyed I love that there's a slimline stamp set and I will be using this again in the future I hope there here's another video you might like and a playlist and as always please click on my face to subscribe thanks everyone Aloha